Well, I guess we're splitting this into two parts because I'm mid-recording and magically my phone just stops recording for no apparent reason. It's not like I'm out of storage or it's just nothing. It just turns off. Well, not like turns off, but the video just stops. It's a type of BS, but it doesn't really matter. But it'll probably work better in two parts. So... I didn't stop the video or anything, I was just in the middle of talking about that dream, and then <laughs> it just stopped. I looked away from the phone, I looked back, I didn't touch anything, and then just, I'm looking at it and talking, and the recording just stopped, and I'm like, okay. So, on that note, I'll go back into where I was in part one, but before that, yeah, so they also are good at messing with technology, um... I had a lot of bullshit technology problems and little things happen over the years as I expose uh, certain groups and I've just seen like in like one day I've had a phone, a computer, a laptop all break in one day. And I'm just like a cheap computer like these are like spe like like high qual like very high end devices and stuff and just tons of stuff I have had. I've had a bunch of things just simultaneously break in like 20 minutes <laughs> you know even on that walk like i said when i pause the video for like 30 seconds another plane comes in and starts talking to me and like, i got something to do get out of <laughs> my mental space in general like you know, it's kind of funny but um on that walk and the, i told you about like 20 minute period where i was just pulling in info um, first I see a deer, well I saw a bunch of deer, but that, as soon as I started pulling info, I see a deer and it has this like bite mark on its body, just, I don't know, it looks skinny and has this weird bite mark, and then I see this bee, this big bumblebee on the ground kind of dying or it's dead or something, so I put it in the grass and I don't know, I kind of put grass on it to like warm it up, because I think it was, I thought it was dead, but then it was kind of moving, I thought it was an ant under it moving it or something, but usually I'm pretty sure they need heat. Or whatever so I just kind of like anyways I moved off to the side I'm walking for another minute and it's all in the span of a good 10 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes at the most um then I see a dead bird and then I saw like another dead animal and, uh, just in public areas and just looking at this okay and then I see like this effigy so I go to one spot that I usually record and then some little organite effigy made with like twigs into like a weird teepee pyramid shape it was kind of big and then a bunch of symbols and stuff <laughs> let's put it on another spot i usually do videos outside you see me there do videos and then I was, yeah so they're, they're kind of they're kind of strange strange being it's a, it's a very eventful 20 minutes <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to pull in some info, so, um, that's why on that walk I didn't really even pull in that much info, um, before I did this part one, I was just seeing all that stuff, just looking at it, alright then, so, <laughs> none of that stuff really matters, it's just, usually I won't even talk about any of that type of stuff, I just, because usually, especially with these Pleiadian, fake Pleiadians, they do a lot of crazy types of gang stalking too, I mean, try to use a lot of weird fear tactics, and they try to mentally, they try to make people feel like they're mentally going crazy, or they, their gang stalking tactics are kind of, if you're, if you're below, if your energy is low, or you're below them on a, some kind of scale, um, they have some strong gang stalking tactics, but I mean, usually I'm not even the type to talk about that type of stuff, because to me it's just, they're... They're not even worth talking about because they know how to like use mental warfare and stuff like that and um when you don't give one of these beings attention it pisses them off like if you don't give them the time of day and make them feel like whatever they're doing isn't even uh, threatening or attractive or working or anything like that they get extremely um agitated <laughs> And I don't do it just to agitate them or whatever. It just literally is what it is. I don't. It doesn't actually really do anything to me. Break something, I'll just fix it. 
what are you gonna break it again they're too low energy to continuously this is why they have to gang suck and do a lot of these tactics but to me i'm just like well, if you broke something, then I guess I wasn't defending it well enough, so I'll just fix it real quick and then put up a better guard and just won't be able to do anything. It just took a few minutes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just deal with stuff as it comes, so it's not really a big deal. Um, yeah, and then on the attraction level, it's kind of funny because they'll try to attract you in, like, on a mental level. Um, <laughs> and then if you don't pay them any mind, no, let alone attention definitely not attention but if you pay them even no mind they get agitated <laughs> they get extremely agitated imagine someone trying to become like a damn plastic doll and then they um still don't even get attention and it's just agitates them so but anyways when i got an agitated mosquito i just squish that thing and keep it moving but back into the dream <laughs> so like i said just infiltrating one of those spaces and just seeing all these men in black type of stuff going on that's just the best way i can describe it and a lot of um technology but the technology was polycarbonate for the most part and i think there was a um, now that I'm remembering back, I would say there might have been some ceramic stuff. I didn't notice anything ceramic um, when when I was there. But like now that I'm thinking about it, there could have been. But I don't. I can't say there was. But they were using because I don't think they use that type of stuff. I think ceramics are too high energy for them. Um, it would appear like that, but I don't think that's what it was. What came to my mind was like when I was there. What, what it was was polycarbonate, and I didn't really even know what that was, to be honest, at, at the moment. I was like, what the heck? So when I got up, I looked it up, and again, polycarbonate is plastic. So like I said, it's some tons of stuff. Just everything that looks like glass that isn't glass pretty much is a type of it's called polycarbonate. You know when they say, like, BCAs, and you don't, or not BCAs, um, not branching amino acids. Um, what is that stuff? Is it BCA? <laughs> not branching amino acids, but what are those things? You know, like, you know when you, like, get water bottles and they say, oh, it can leach, uh, is it BCA? I don't even remember. They tell, they tell you those water bottles, all that stuff can leach plastic into the water, and you know what I'm saying? That, that's all polycarbonate. So, in the dream, they're talking about, like, well, I'm just gonna call it a dream. Let's just call it a dream. But, in the dream, they're talking about, um, in, in the facility or whatever, they're talking about, um, how polycarbonate was, polycarb, like, when they gave society polycarbonate, a revolution that revolutionized the world but people weren't even grateful for it and then the other guy was like talking about how because it was a couple of them having a conversation the other guy was talking about and again i was just kind of like remote view but they're talking about how um it's kind of like a joke because he was being sarcastic because it was almost like saying i gave you a cupcake with poison with it in it but you weren't even grateful for it or like um so but to them it's not really poison you know what i'm saying to, to everybody else so they're talking about how He's like, so basically, first guy is saying, we gave him all these um, technological advancements and they're not even grateful for it. And another guy is kind of laughing at it. And he's like, well, uh, we'll look what they did with it, right? So I'm looking into polycarbonate, and we'll go back into that in a second. But so I'm looking into polycarbonate, and um, since then, I was also just. Uh, really going out of my way to just notice how much litter is everywhere and i hate that shit but there's just litter everywhere um even in a space like my city my city's rated one of the it's always in the top five cleanest cities in the entire world it's a very clean city but there's still always like you can be in parks whatever and there's just litter there's so much litter still um when, once you really focus on it, it might not be big pieces of litter sometimes it's it is but if it's not you'll see just little wrappers and just stuff everywhere like just mixed into the soil and stuff like that once you really focus on it and it's just annoying you know what i'm saying and people in other cities probably have way bigger problems with that so I'm, I'm sure it's way more annoying there but i'm saying you go to like a public park you know what i'm saying like a like with a river and a fort like trees all that type of stuff and there's just litter everywhere so you know the guy in the dream says well, look what they did with it 
so I'm looking at it and obviously plastic is one of the biggest problems that we have um, environmentally right um, it's everywhere it's all in the oceans it's like um, when you go to the pyramids it's just everywhere on the ground you think it's gonna be a beautiful trip but it's just litter everywhere it's just everywhere you know what I'm saying and it takes forever to degrade it, it's killing animals like birds and you know what I'm saying just tons of stuff and not only that they say that everybody they say basically everybody has uh, nanoplastic so plastic on the na on the nano size in their blood just because it's everywhere um, I would say there's exceptions here and there and um, all that but, but yeah that's what they say that's how dirty the world is with plastic and stuff like that so I was looking into it a little bit more on the polycarbonate right because in the dream they had like polycarbonate swords um, it was all 3d printed stuff too right so plastic swords and I don't mean like the blade the blade was made out of something else you know what I'm saying but the uh, I don't know what the blade was made out of um, yeah but the, at least the hilt um, the guns all of that was made out of plastic so I looked it up and there actually is that actually is a real thing you actually can make uh, 3d well I knew you could 3d print like guns and stuff like that but I mean people this 3d printed uh, weapons made out of like basically plastics and if you remember in X-Men when X-Men and uh, was X-Men 3 where they gave all the people the vaccine so that they would lose their powers and all that type of stuff uh, X-Men Last Stand I think and then when they were fighting Magneto and then they brought all the pl plastic guns out to fight Magneto I remember that after um, I was looking it up and um, they put that in different media as well right that they have this type of weapon weaponry so I was guessing the reason one of the reasons why they might have used plastic was well obviously it integrates with their biology but not even just that um, on they probably are creating certain materials that can have resonance that can resonate with different type of technology that they build so I think it has to do with resonance but because for example a person might be able to break a glass cup with their voice you know what I'm saying like an opera singer or whatever but I don't know if you can break a polycarbonate glass like a poly like a polycarbonate cup with your voice you know what I'm saying like you might be able to but I just think it has a different type of uh, a different type of um, just structure to it that makes plastic more um, resilient and this is why you see in nature and stuff like that when plastic is on the ground and everything it's not really easily um, it's not really easily degradable or able to be com um, decomposed and all that type of stuff they say there's a bacteria now that can actually eat plastic but I don't know about that I don't see it doing anything so I don't really I don't really know about that but however um, yeah so that's just some of the stuff I was going into with plastic so I never really thought about it when I watched the movie Men in Black when I was younger and stuff like that right and even when I thought about Men in Black I never really thought about their weapons not being made of because um, it looks all futuristic and Tron like and shit but um, or just you know just like some of that futuristic type of um, look but it doesn't I never kind of really occurred to me that it wasn't made out of metal you know what I'm saying or it wasn't made out of uh, just I don't know material certain the material the type of materials that we use today so so yeah plastic plastic weaponry plastic uh, uh, even just litter in, in itself is plastic weaponry um, the food that is in a lot of fast foods and all that type of stuff just not only the plastic not not really just that but just even the food itself is just it's not beyond GMO it's way beyond that it was based they're basically a lot of that food is basically created so in a way where um, it can have harmful effects to you non-harmful effects to certain people but at the same time um, regardless of that part it causes harmful effects in most people and it's artificially created all, all that stuff is artificially created 
even the stuff that comes from animals and stuff that stuff those animals and stuff those are artificially created animals that were um brought here and you would not want to know if you're still eating that stuff you would not want to know what they are hybridized with because you might not be happy about you're 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 a little bit more than just um an omnivore or a carnivore <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you if you eat that stuff you're a little bit a little bit more than that so yeah anyways um, it's not the point of this video that's a whole nother conversation but if you eat like a bison or i don't know i'm not again i'm not for eating meat but i'm saying if you eat like bison or buffalo or that type of stuff that's completely different but i'm talking about you're eating these uh yeah well let, let's not get into it let's not get into it at all so yeah so plastic right now there is all right so there I, the amount of interruptions i'm getting is actually ridiculous but it's okay because it's not really stopping me so when it comes down i've kind of I, I, I what i was about to say we we might get it back into it i'll just pause for a second but now they say one one thing that they try to do heavily is they try to really block people's um ability to speak as you can tell with this whole political crack um situation tied with the sexuality stuff i was talking about and like well first of all that they're hypersexual but the um sexual communities that exist here that if you mention them in the slightest bit they try to um do whatever whatever right um then on top of that with ma with media and how there's literally just artificial intelligence that you think are real people but it's artificial intelligence and they have media um out they have media uh what do you call it um accounts and stuff like that and then they they push narratives that aren't even being pushed by real people how they're trying to silence people who speak on the truth how they try to also gaslight people who have opinions or just speak freely on free forums <laughs> which is what social media is supposed to be and just basically how they're trying to control the narrative in all different outlets of communication right so when it comes down to that right they're really just trying to lock people down below the throat chakra you know what i'm saying so it's important for everybody to really speak the truth but just use this situation not to be afraid of what people of people um uh you know trying to put this whole lockdown on free speech use this as a growing moment you know what i'm saying use this as a growing moment so if people are trying to lock down how you speak and then as soon as you speak about something they delete your account or they try to sue you or all this type of stuff right use this as a moment to to get better at speaking you know what i'm saying because this is like i said they know how to play mental games to make people feel like they're going crazy or they're trapped in a box because on the sexual level they're taught they're heavily into like weird stuff with bondage and all this other type of stuff i talked about that in the slaying the dragon part six or seven the one about the ouroboros right so it's one of easily one of the worst things happening on the planet too this bondage weird sexual stuff so they're heavily into weird stuff with chains and yeah because slavs and slavic and slavery and you know what i'm saying like it's tied to a lot of stuff so into a bunch of weirdo shit so it's kind of where that bonded like where that goes into is pretty much figuring out what something is so you see like how a lot of people with their dogs like their golden retrievers because <laughs> a lot of them have golden retrievers see how many golden retrievers that walk by today in german shepherd but they and there's not a thing about dogs but what i'm trying to get it is they know how to they learn how to basically they learn the nature of something they learn how to put it in a cage or tame it or whatever and they learn all of its ins and outs and then they biogenetically um engineer things using that dna and merge it with other things to try to create new things they're just some weird sorcerer alchemist i don't even want to call them alchemists but they're 
because actually they are alchemists that they're like a lot of them are vampiristic and i don't know like a pair celsius and his weird vampirism cannibal i don't know they have some weird ways to try to figure out immortality and all that because again they have bodies that don't function anymore so they create fake bodies for themselves these plastic bodies right so their whole goal is pretty much figuring out how to create um bodies for them to inhabit for them to utilize but they have no um real synchronization or connection with nature anymore because they've been uh they've been etherized they've been ethered <laughs> so they don't they don't really exist so they're kind of using they're on like borrowed time you know what i'm saying they're on they don't really exist anymore they've already lost um yeah they've already lost so backtracking past the bondage stuff that was really good because uh, i'm not really trying to get into that uh they're hyper sexual beings and um on top of like i said being tied to um lg all you know uh the uh that group like these sexual groups and then also using their sexuality and then um being tied to political correct groups um being tied to they're trying to control the revolution and have a staged rev televised and staged revolution because they control media and te television so when the whole te revolution will not be televised it's because they're staging a fake revolt aka a fake revolution in this whole process with like um bullshit um agendas and bullshit groups that because they, then they have the zombified groups of people who push the agendas you know what i'm saying so then there's the whole political correctness and freedom of speech and they they're like i said with the putting someone in a cage or in a in a in a like on a leash or whatever they're really good at making people go insane because they want people to almost implode um they want like the enemy because the way that they do warfare like i said they use frequency weapons and they do this drawn out warfare because they don't have the physical capabilities to actually fight like that or really get into a situation they have to use uh technology to enhance their abilities and weaken others so when they can get someone into a situation right they want everybody to feel trapped that is awake or is fighting or you know what i'm saying they want people to feel trapped and hopeless and you know what i'm saying all those type of feelings um because uh, that's frequency weaponry but or warfare but at the same time they're like i said they're really good at m making people who are either below them or just low on energy or they have some holes in their aura that are actually but these people are still above them they're really good at making people feel like they're losing their minds or losing you know what i'm saying like it's these weird gang stalking tactics so they're good at making people feel like they're losing their shit and that they're in a box that they can't get out of so they try to make you just i don't know crush your head on the wall or like do something to try to like suicide yourself like basically try to make you uh lose your shit and just implode implode on yourself and then when that happens they sacrifice they try to sacrifice that person and then will try to put you in a part of a, a narrative that you weren't a part of and then use that and en your energy for other things like i said because they know how to take people apart and then utilize those pieces into different they create new things that, well, they don't create that they 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 make they make new they make some new things they make some weird hybrid things out of it you know what i'm saying so you got to keep your cool when dealing with these beings because they don't have even though they do have like they're playing a long drawn out battle endurance is not their strong suit <laughs> as crazy as that sounds they they use toxicity they have like very enduring poison if that makes sense but but their endurance will not last their endurance only lasts as long as you um because because the, again they're very low energy so they need to feed off of beings and stuff like that so if you don't really pay the mind and you just kind of focus on your own thing which i've been saying for the last two years for everyone to do they lose energy and then what happens is they start infighting like we've been watching they've been infighting like crazy right their own groups and stuff like that and then yeah they 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 they're very quick once they lose that energy and that glamour because they're quick to glow up but trust me once they start losing that their food source 
they're also quick to just start decaying and feeding off each other and cause anarchy within their own groups. And once that happens, they immediately, they might look like they have a nice little palace, but it's a glass castle, you know what I'm saying? So throw one rock in that bitch and it just crumbles. So these motherfuckers are weak. They're weak as fuck. They're super weak. They might appear like they are. You might hit them and you're like, oh, well, these people are kind of solid. But it's like, nah, they, it's a tech that's solid. And it's not really solid, actually. It's like, um, it's short-lastingly solid. <laughs> it might be solid for a quick moment. But it's only solid because you're in a weakened state and then they're at their maximum state. And then it only lasts for a very short amount of time. So if you do that again next time, it, it will probably work. You know what I'm saying? And then they don't like long drawn out battles. That's why they use those like, uh, you see in Men in Black, like the neuralizers where they make people forget and then all the MK Ultra shit. Because if you remember things, they won't be able to keep people in that zombified state. So they mess with people's memories and all this type of stuff. So what I'm trying to get at is to try to make people get feel like they're losing their minds and they go crazy and all that shit. So one thing is you got to keep your cool. Second is you got to learn how to... um overcome their their bs so if they're basically i'm not the type of people to say they but i've clearly stated who they are in this situation so when they um let's say cut off people's ability to speak let's just speak in a way where they can't cut us off right they ain't just uh, <laughs> if they're trying to keep it cool and like they're that these politically correct um freedom fighters and stuff like that i'm gonna be a little bit cooler <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to speak in a way where they can't, they can't, they can't make you, like, I'm not saying, um, I'm not saying, uh, walk on eggshells, watch what you say, like, like, uh, really be careful about, not, not like that. Just uh, learn how to speak in a way that cuts their heads off, but you don't. Uh, put your, you don't leave yourself vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't punch, don't strike in a way where you're leaving a, um, a opening. Strike in a way where when they strike at you, you're using their force against themselves. So once they strike at you, which they've already done it, you can use their, because once you, someone strikes, they leave an opening. So once they strike, take that opening. And once you take that opening, they catch them off balance so they won't have an ability to even hit you at any opening that you have so that's what it is and the way to do that on a clear level is first of all what's understood does not need to be said and they don't understand a lot of shit the pen is mightier than the sword they say that alchemy that they do alchemy but they're just pretty much vampires and alchemy is to turn lead to gold and don't they say that pen or pencil is made out of lead? Or is it made out of lead? It's made out of something else, right? It's kind of interesting, whatever else it's made out of. And the sword is, what, made out of iron or steel? So what, turned lead to gold? But they're fighting with iron or steel? In this case, not it's plastic, it's not really iron or steel. And they can't turn lead to gold. So they're struggling out here, but lead, pencil lead, graphite, carbon, but they got polycarbonates, not real carbon. So you can turn the carbon into gold. Because remember, pencil lead is made out of carbon, not, not lead, but they call it lead. So turn carbon into gold. And the reason why they can't create these real bodies that they need on some Pinocchio type shit is because they keep... Well, other than that they keep lying but other than that is because of that lack of carbon so how are they going to turn lead to gold when they don't got even carbon or lead in the first place you don't know say you can't turn plastic into gold so because the earth yeah, anyways yeah now What does that, what does that mean? Well, what's understood doesn't need to be said. 
you don't need to really be focused on what the enemy is doing. You got to be focused on what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? And if you're natural or carbon, then that's one of their weaknesses, but that's what they need, but they can't, but they can't utilize it, right? Then the higher the carbon emissions, the higher, the, the more that things start growing again, the more life force energy that comes back or, um, the more that the, that plastic will melt is the best way I can word it. The more that, um, the more that that energy that they're utilizing will just um the more that they're the faster that their bodies will decay and also when you don't pay them any mind they don't have a food source anymore so you got to keep going deeper within yourself and keep doing things and if you've built something and you've built another thing and you built another thing try doing something else be very, be diverse, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might be building things, try cooking for a bit. You might be cooking for a bit, try exercising. And don't just do the stereotypical type of um, building or cooking or exercises. Do things that are very meaningful. Meaningful, you know what I'm saying? For you, <laughs> meaningful to you. Now... Um, and it's not just gloom and doom. What if if everything was good? What would you do? Like, what would the planet look like to you if everything was good? Like, don't. There's a difference between your inner world and the world itself. So don't get that twisted. So don't just make the outer world your like. You kind of do that to an extent, but don't try to make the whole world your world. Like, um, there's a separation between your world and the outer world. But you give pieces of yourself to try to you know, build the outer world, so, like, uh, don't, so, just, we're, we're not gonna get into that, that's too deep, but what I'm getting at is, if the world was good, and everything was proper, right, and we didn't really have any of these problems, what would social life look like to you, what would, what would your home life look like to you, what would your community life look like to you, so, let's live in that now, even if shit is not the way that we want it to be, let's create the ideal situation now, and yeah, easier said than done, but I'm trying to just, what I'm trying to get at is there's a lot that we could do. And I'm not saying you have to change other people. I'm saying, what would you do to entertain yourself if everything was good? What would you do to nourish yourself if everything was good? What would you do on a day-to-day -day basis if everything was good? Like, what? And just kind of get into that balance. Because like I said, this video is about plastic, but also the natural balance with uh, things like technology and all that. Because... We're not just some people who, like, the kind of the imagery of what they try to make a tribal person. They try to make them look like some savage who just, I don't know, scratches their ass and lives in a hut or something. Um, no, we can be connected with nature and amplifying nature, but at the same time technologically advanced, but not using... Not, not in the same way that they utilize technology because our technology is also connected with nature so it doesn't just our technology doesn't destroy nature it doesn't create all this extra noise pollution and all this extra light pollution and all this just it doesn't pollute the environment the byproducts of our, our think about it like this the tech the byproducts of technology today of most technologies that exist destroys nature the byproducts of our technology build nature so that should be the starting, that should be one of the main starting points. Why can't our byproducts not only heal the environment, but let, like, but also allow the environment to grow even more? That's how our technology works, you know? It doesn't just have excess noise, it doesn't have, it doesn't have all this extra stuff that is designed to kill the body, kill the people, kill... So, there is a balance between tech and nature and with you obviously being a part of that because we build the tech but um but yeah you got to really use your imagination yeah you can learn all these different things about electromagnetism acoustics uh telluric and telluric energy um what else mechanical engineering i don't know software development you can learn about uh 
woodworking, metalworking, stoneworking, glass blowing, um, stuff with sand, you know what I'm saying? Working with mud and like dirt and pottery, uh, clay, you can work, learn about healing, martial arts, you can learn about all the, all the different arts, you know what I'm saying? The sciences, we can learn about all this type of stuff, but just use those as tools to an extent, just to gain broaden your comprehension if you want to learn if you want to go that route you can but at the, um just to make yourself more comprehensive but at the same time um just because me and you both have a hammer doesn't mean we're building the same thing at all at all at all so the just understand that you don't have to go learn everything out there but um the more you learn the better but at the same time use what you already know and if there's other things you need to know, go learn it. You don't gotta go to school, just really just go research it because you're interested in it and just go do some practical work with it and just keep broadening yourself. Keep broadening yourself and keep growing because then you have more tools to work with and you're gonna be able to do some things that might not be able to be understood by the average person, but if people see it, they're, they're gonna be drawn to it. You know what I'm saying? So. We can't limit ourselves and we're just going to keep growing, you know what I'm saying? So there is a balance when it comes to us, nature, tech, right? But plastic is not it. <laughs> plastic is definitely not it. We could have, we can use it as a lesson. <laughs> That's what, first of all, what not to do. Um, and plastic's used in basically like everything, you know what I'm saying? So it's used in so many things you wouldn't even believe. Um, but yeah, don't be really too worried about what's happening right now with, um, speech and, you know what I'm saying, how they're trying to lock people down. This is a moment for a lot of us to mature our, our, uh, What's it called? Our ability to speak and express ourselves because all that shit that they're doing, it's not going to last. Trust me, it's not going to last. It already isn't lasting, you know? There, it really isn't lasting. So, at the very best, I'm not even going to give a time frame to it, but it's really not going to last because I don't even want to do that. It's really not going to last. As soon as, with their stuff, as soon as you see, we don't need to do all the extra yelling. We don't got to do the extra, like, we don't, we don't got to make it more violent because they, they use, they'll use, they use that stuff against, they use eccentrics and they use, they use that type of stuff against uh, you. All you have to do is very, in a very cool way, just expose it because once you expose the glamour spell, once that, once that bitch don't got that makeup on and she, she look, <laughs> she looks like a damn, I don't know, like her, <laughs> she looks like, her skin looks like a, like candle wax, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that, that candle wax melting off of the candle. She don't really look prop. she don't look, really look right at all. She doesn't, she don't got that plastic look anymore. She got that droopy skin pay very very dull color um <laughs> her uh smoothness and stuff like that gets replaced with kind of sloppiness that spell is gonna wear off quick and then then, then they regress into lower nature is extremely quick so no that is we don't we don't gotta really do anything um drastic to flip to flip the to flip the energy in the situation going on even in this time period when they're trying to regroup and get their uh put a stronger grip on society that that, that shows you how much uh people are slipping or how much people are slipping right now and there's a good time for a lot of us and other and you know and others to just rest and regain our energy and kind of regain bearings and just kind of enjoy ourselves for a little bit while um 
while the other side's just scrambling. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There's literally nothing. Don't let anything make you afraid right now. Don't let anything make you panic. Don't let anything make you move. Um, move uh, very, like, impulsively. Because they really try to control impulses and stuff like that. Use your instinct, use your intuition, but don't, don't just, just think, really think things through on a level of how, how will I feel about this tomorrow? How will I feel about this the next day? Because these glamour spells and these holographic and they, these astral weapons and stuff like that, they don't last for long. It, even if you're being influenced by it, it doesn't last for long. And if people are very just, if they're already in a zombified state, I mean, that's another situation that might last because their mind is already kind of, but I'm talking about for the app, for the people who aren't in that state. So to think, will this be a decision I will be happy with tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't, we just got to slow down and just do what we want to do and do what we need to do for the betterment of ourselves and get ourselves um, moving the right, right way. And we got to watch with the overzealousness, the zealous, right? Overzealousness, like over arrogance and like all that type of stuff. And really be smart about what we need and what, like what we want and all that type of stuff. And really start living in that reality. Because if you destroy a system and you're not prepared for this, the, the transition, then and I don't mean prepared by like just stocking up on food in your house or something like that. I mean, just what are we going to just regress into a different state until we advance again? Why don't we just advance from where we're at right here? You know what I'm saying? So it's not really about just destroy the enemy. Like, it's not really just like war like that. Just really just understand, okay, let's advance from where we are right now to where we, sh where we want to be next and keep moving so that we have a solid f foundation that even if something happens with society and whatever, wherever we are all at currently around the world, we are stable. So regardless of what happens, it shouldn't really do much. You might get like a scratch, but that's really about it. It shouldn't really do anything. You know, a scratch can just heal real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like it shouldn't really cause damage or anything. So you don't want to just destroy shit so that it, you bring things down. But since you're in a dependent state, um, you cause way more collateral damage. That's why we got to focus inward and deal with, um, yeah. And just start really just setting examples of what we want to do because we can tell, yeah, we should tell people what it is and all that type of stuff. And we, we got to do that, but it's really about setting examples, you know what I'm saying? And not being forceful on everybody. If someone isn't, doesn't want to hear it or doesn't want to deal with it, then move on to move on because you're putting yourself, you're doing yourself a disservice by being around a person who um, doesn't even respect or want what you're giving. But then there's another person who wants it. And by staying around that other person, you're, you're doing a disservice to yourself and that other person who's probably waiting for you to um, help them out. You know what I'm saying? So this is an endurance thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't just, throw all your punches and shit and then get tired and then and then get all <laughs> out of breath and panicky and then now all of a sudden you're um being stimulated and goaded and you know to to do things impulsively in in directions that you wouldn't naturally go and then all of a sudden now your energy is lower and yeah this isn't a this is easily just like a um a fear and scare tactic that's happening out here and it's not really um it's not really anything significant they're they're losing control and losing a grip on um that holographic reality that is controlling a lot of people and also the mk ultra as well so they're trying to bring out they're trying to control the narrative right now and then bring out a new narrative and bring out new things especially this alien stuff they're going to really focus on the alien stuff a lot too, probably, but they're trying to bring out certain things to, um, get people's attention back on them. Because like I said, people aren't really focused too much again on, uh, 
on all the on a lot of the distractions, you know. So either alien stuff or trying to f use fear to with apocalyptic type of stuff. Um, th those are going to be heavily. So sexual stuff, fear, fear porn like apocalypse. Um, different situations. It could be zombies. It could be vampires. It could be. Um, some 2012 movie type of type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is, um, fear porn, porn porn, like sexual stuff. Um, whether it's actual porn or just stuff in the uh, like Instagram and uh, the media and like you know what I mean, and movies and TV and stuff like that. And then um, propaganda, but then at the same, they're gonna mix propaganda in there, but then at the same time. Uh, what's it called? Fear porn, porn porn, <laughs> and um, oh yeah, fake, fake like narratives about stuff like aliens and um, I'm not saying that shit is real or fake, but what I'm saying is um, it's just something that is supposed to be catchy to catch your attention, you know what I'm saying? So you don't focus on, and then they use, pro then they put, start putting propaganda in. But you notice, you notice, a lot of this stuff isn't having a lot of effect anymore. If you try to go on Instagram and you look at Instagram models or like different people, right? You're gonna see, she, they, <laughs> or like, she, her, or you might see a person and it literally just says he, and it's, it looks like a she or whatever. You're gonna notice a lot of the Instagram people and stuff like that. They're gonna be really losing their. Like, it doesn't have the same... Sexuality doesn't have the same effect anymore. When you watch movies and TV shows, they just put so much different stuff in there now that it doesn't even have that same effect as it did before. You know what I'm saying? The uh, n celebrities, they, they're not really as attractive as they were before. A lot of the stuff that, you know, in, in music and uh, with celebrities and stuff like that, they don't really have... People aren't like worshiping them like as they used to because they, they just aren't getting looked up to as they used to because they're not really. All these celebrities aren't really looking that, good anymore. You know what I'm saying? And then you're noticing a lot of things merging together. Companies are merging together. Um, political groups, like I was saying, like these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, sexual groups and then these Instagram models and then these political correct groups, right? Social justice groups, they're all kind of merging together because as soon as um, you start getting stronger and you start, you're able to fight off more than one person at once, they got to gang up on you to try to hold you down. So these groups are losing shine and then the people are starting to get uh, gain strength. So they're starting to merge together to try to... Um, to try to gain strength but the funniest part about it is a lot of these groups were were powerful because they were individual you know what i'm saying because they're standalone groups they had this like mysteriousness and all this type of stuff that um it made people because there was so much unknown stuff in the world the mysteriousness of a lot of these different groups and you know what i'm saying made a lot of people um really look up to them but since a lot of them are starting to merge together they all are kind of, um, they're all kind of getting caught for the bullshit or it, it's like, you can tell a lot, all, you can just tell their bullshit so much easier because, because of the merging together. Um, it's like, if you've ever seen a show or a movie or just even in real life, if you ever seen like a bull or a lion or an animal like that you know it's gonna look have you ever seen a movie or tv show where you have just a character who's just really overpowered it's a villain or something like that but then once the hero defeats them later on that same villain or whatever it was they either join the heroes or they or they build up a team and then that team is kind of hyped up but then that team becomes weak also it's kind of like that and it's just like they lose a lot of their um the fear and mystery aspect to them that makes them just have more star power because that mystery and fear and that dark aspect to them kind of gives them more of a shine but you just see more around them 
because they're interconnected with different things now. So you start to just fill in gaps. And then because of that, their significance dramatically decreases. You know what I'm saying? Dramatically decreases. <laughs> so, for example, you had Oprah. She was huge, right? She still is huge. But now you got all of these other uh, talk shows or whatever that are similar to her. However you want to describe her show, right? And that's similar to her, but they're definitely never going to be as big as Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because now there's just many of them. It's kind of like clones and shit like that. You you had, like, someone like Disney and Marvel, and but um, DC. But a lot of these groups are merging together. For example, you might watch something like Dragon Ball or One Piece or Bleach or Naruto or whatever, right? Now imagine if those universes merge together. You might be excited for a moment, but all of a sudden those shows would lose their power. It's kind of like if you were to drink Coke and then you're to drink, uh, I don't know, root beer or something or Sprite or something, right? Yeah, they might, to you, uh, like not to me, <laughs> to, to someone, whoever, they might taste good individually. But then when you mix those two together, they get diluted and they're just not as good anymore. Like you, they're not, neither of them really matters that much anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have Coke and you might have Pepsi, but if you drink them both together, I'm sure they probably sell some kind of hybrid and people don't even care about that drink. It's just when things start merging together like that, when unnatural things, let me rephrase that, when unnatural things merge together, a lot of times for the most part, they lose, um, they lose power. You know? Like if you see a love story and you see like the main guy and the main woman, and then all of a sudden, like, you might be like, I don't know, a person, again, not me, but a person might be really into each character. But then later on, let's say they both have, they have a child, right? You're not really going to care about the parents anymore. Like, the parents are just, they're much more less, they're much less significant. So, <laughs> if, that, if, if that makes sense. It's just like a way that mystery adds this atmosphere that empowers the uh, the centerpiece. But once you are able to see, it's kind of like a magic trick. And that's why I would say it's kind of an artificial thing. It's not really real. A magic trick might blow your mind. But once you know how the trick works, you're just like, oh, okay, it's not even, it doesn't even matter. So... That's what I'm saying. So with all these groups kind of merging together and all that stuff, if you kind of, if you just cool, if you know how they work and then you just call that shit out for what it is and you don't do anything extra, you don't, you don't, you, you don't do anything that they can deem hate speech and all that extra shit. All that's going to happen is the glamour spell is going to wear off. People are not going to pay it any mind and then they feed off the things mentally and because people don't pay it mind anymore, it loses traction and the car just spins off the road. <laughs>